The canton of Glarus in eastern Switzerland charms with its raw villages and landscapes. It is the home to some very beautiful traditional houses, amazing waterfalls and one of the most stunning mountain passes. Yet not very touristy, this region offers you the chance to experience the raw and peaceful side of Switzerland. This is Gemographic presenting you the village of Luchsingen and the beautiful landscape of Glarus Süd. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gemographic. I'm now in this wonderful town called Luchsingen. I'm pretty sure you have never heard about it before, that's why I'm going to present it to you in this video. If you like anything about traveling and culture, then you're most welcome to subscribe. There's a lot to see in this village, so let's go and explore it together. On my way down from the beautiful Klausen Pass, I passed by this village which immediately caught my attention. What really fascinated me are the many unique wooden houses which are scattered throughout the village. Luchsingen feels very peaceful. It's a sort of Swiss ideal of feeling lost in a green landscape with a spectacular mountainous panorama. When you arrive here, I suggest you start your exploration with hiking up this creek to reach the upper part of the village. From there, you will have a great view over the surrounding scenery. I really love the atmosphere up here. We have these beautiful houses. It's very serene. I can hear the crickets. What more? The ideal is really perfect. Then you have a very beautiful view down to the center of the village. All in all, it's really a great idea to come here. The village is very calm, it's very authentic and it's very Swiss. If you walk this street up further north, then you will get to see a lot of cows and you will have a fantastic view on the Tödi, which is the iconic mountain of the canton of Glarus. When you're roaming around this village, you can be pretty sure that the only people that you would meet are locals. Myself, I'm definitely the only tourist here, so I don't think it's going to be any different for you. You should really come here. It's very serene, it's very authentic and yeah, this will be a little bit of a different experience of Switzerland. But all in all, I'm very sure you will not regret it. Before proceeding to the waterfalls, you should go to the southwestern side of the village. Over there, you can see some masterpieces of traditional houses. After spending your visit at this postcard-like village called Luchsingen, you should head over to the Diesbach waterfalls. For that, I recommend you to park your car at Hetzingen and then it only takes five minutes to walk up to the waterfall. It's going to be a very easy hike, thus this attraction is very family friendly. And then, just a few moments later, you will arrive at the magnificent Diesbach waterfall. I'm now in front of the Diesbach Falls. You can see they look very impressive. They are on four stages. So here we have number one, two, and then three, and then higher up even four. Very, very beautiful. And what's really amazing, nobody's here. Luckily, the Diesbach Falls are only little known because I actually would say they rank among the top 10 waterfalls of Switzerland. For next, you should proceed up to the Klausen Pass, which is one of the most beautiful roads of Switzerland. Just at the beginning of the ascent, you have to do a stop. There, you will get to see another amazing waterfall, the Berglichstübel. I just parked in this curve here. There's a waterfall nearby, so let's go and take a look. It's definitely quite a hidden waterfall because I only know about it after having seen it on my drone. So yeah, I'm really excited. I think it looks very beautiful. This waterfall here, it's so beautiful. It falls into a pool which looks very unique and that makes the waterfall very different from all the others. After seeing the Berglichstüber waterfall, you should head up to the Klausenpass. The way up there is really marvelous. For all of you who love to do road trips, this one here is pretty much mandatory as it's one of the best mountain passes of Switzerland. 
The scenery is really amazing. You have these dramatic rocks. And also if you come here after the pass road just opened, you will still have some snow. It's in particular great to come up here to watch the sunset. It looks very beautiful with the alpine panorama. So we've reached the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you're new to this channel, you're most welcome to subscribe. I very much appreciate that. So that's it from my side. We're going to see each other very soon.